Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine and I'm back here to review another episode of CBS's Big Brother season 21 episode number three. So leave me some comments and let me know what you thought about tonight's episode and the nominees and the fact that OV won the power because this weekend the feed watchers had no clue who won the power. They kept speculating who won but they didn't realize that it was OV. I should have known it was OV obviously. Anyways, tomorrow, Monday, June, no, no, July 1st, 2019, at 7 p.m., I will be going live to chat all about what I saw on the feeds. And if you want to pop on the TV Co. app, definitely do that. I'm at Sage Valentine 84 So let's get down to this review. Okay, so Christy's the HOH, but really is... Jackson and Jack who seemed at one point to be making the decisions and Christy seemed to be going along with it then Jackson is obviously the camp director we saw that now Ovi decides that he's going to be nice to Christy and he tells her that he's at her beck and call if only Ovi knew what the others were saying about him I don't think that he would be this open-minded to help them and I think he's going to probably find out pretty soon if he doesn't overhear something or if somebody doesn't tell him something. Now, Catherine is worried about Christy. Catherine is in the room with Kimmy. I think, um, I don't remember if Christy was in there. I know Bella was in there, and I'm trying to remember who else was in there. I think Nicole, I don't remember who else. Anyway, um, Kimmy says she doesn't trust Jack because to her, Jack is like a marble. I guess he's pretty on the outside, and there's not much going on with him on the inside. You probably heard the name Mishi, and you probably keep saying, who the heck is Mishi or Mickey? That's Jackson. Because there's Jack and Jackson in the house, Jackson decided to call himself Mishi or Mickey. Me personally, I'm still calling him Jackson. So on this channel, we call you by your government name. So <laughs> Catherine says that Jackson is young and impressionable and she feels like she can run him. And for those of you who don't know, Catherine and Jackson became rather close this weekend. If you get where I'm going. Yes, they did. Bella is upset because Kimmy and Catherine are talking about Jack and Jackson, so she decides to run back and tell. For those of you that don't know, Bella is one of, I believe, two rats so far that have popped up this season. Tommy is one, but Bella is a bigger one, and I'll explain that either tomorrow or probably later in this, but if I don't explain this, in this particular video, I will explain it on TV Co. Come and ask me and remind me. And I will definitely do that. I'll try to make a note. All right, so she runs to Christy and she tells her that Kat says that she can sway Jackson. So Bella told on Kat and Kimmy, as I just said, but the funny thing that happened this weekend was that despite the fact that both Catherine and Kimmy were talking about Jackson and Jack, Kimmy is the only one who caught hell for it. And you will find out exactly what I'm talking about in episode four that airs on Tuesday. Or if you come on the TV Co. app and we'll talk all about that. So Christy talks to her group, her alliance, and Nick tells her that she should nominate Kat next to Cliff and it'll be easy, I guess, to get Kat out of the house. Now, funny story, Nick. So Nick is talking to Jack about adding more people to their alliance. They want to make it four women and four men and they add on Annalise and she's so excited about being in this alliance and then they're thinking of a name and they showed the segment where I think Chrissy was in the room, Jack and Jackson and I think Nick was in the room and they decided to call themselves, if I remember correctly, Grateful Eight. You're probably like, who are these eight people? It's Annalise, Holly, Bella, Christy, Tommy, Nick, Jack, and Jackson. 
So Christy tells Cliff that she wants him to be a pawn. And she starts becoming emotional. She starts crying. I guess this is her way of convincing him. You're safe. Don't worry about it. You can just be a pawn. But Cliff is a super fan. And Cliff knows how it goes with pawns in this game. So Cliff is not okay with this idea. But he decides to save face and go with it. Then all of a sudden, Christy decides to try to convince Catherine that she's a pawn. As if Catherine isn't already feeling some type of way. She isn't already swept up in the paranoia in the house because she's thinking a mile a minute in the house at this point. And Catherine's like, I can see through Christy and I will backdoor her as soon as I can. So Catherine is a dangerous player at this point. Okay, so funny story. Jack, Nick, and Tommy are chilling in the room together and they're chatting about the pecking order and how they want Kat, Kimmy, Jess, Nicole, Cliff, and Ovi to go. Then Sam can go and that will leave them with eight people left in their alliance. Now, I guess nobody learned from the Tamar school of how to play Big Brother because if you remember, if you watched Celebrity Big Brother, if you didn't, Listen up. Tamar would never have a conversation with anybody without checking the bathrooms if she was in the bathroom. She would check to see if the door was closed. She'd make sure nobody was listening outside. And she'd make sure that no one was laying in the bed and acting like they were asleep. Did any of these three do that? No. Because the only other person in the room with them was Cliff and Cliff was snoring. I mean, Cliff could have been acting like he was sleeping and just snoring. But... He was snoring, but still I'm saying, I'm sure people have done that in the past. I think they have. But Ovi was lying in the bed next to Cliff, and they didn't even notice. This is how, like, so overconfident they are in this game. Like, this is going to be their downfall. Well, Ovi runs to tell of all people, Annalise, I'm just like, no, but then I remembered he doesn't know that Annalise is a part of this collective, this grateful eight, so to speak. And of course, she tells him, yeah, you can trust me, but he doesn't know that behind his back, Annalise is like freaking out because one time he touched her and how... She doesn't want him to touch her because she doesn't find him to be attractive. And there was an instance also of Jack saying that Ovi does not have a girlfriend, even though he does. I've seen her. She's pretty. They have a cute dog together. And Jack is just stuck on that, amongst other things. On a side note, Jack might be kind of sort of hunky, but if you watch the feeds or if you read through the recaps, you'll see what Jack has said so far about these house guests. Oh boy, we'll talk more about that on the TV Co. app. But back to this review. So anyway, Annalise runs to tell Christy, Jack, and Jackson. And they basically have to find a way to put a kibosh on this situation. Because Ovi picked up on the fact that there's an eight-person alliance. But the thing is, he didn't figure out the names. He just knows there's eight people at this point. But... This particular edit is a clue into how just bizarre this Grateful Eight Alliance is, how they really don't trust each other. I don't think I've ever seen an alliance where you have like a collection of people and they really, really, really don't trust each other. Normally you'd have like a couple people or everybody would just follow suit. But at this point, they do not trust each other. So I'm just like, why are you all following each other? Why are you in an alliance? Why is season 21 this crazy? Anyway, this alliance is a mess. Again, they didn't learn anything from Tamar as far as not talking in the room without making sure nobody else is in that room. Like, please. So we get to the activity competition and pretty much the house guests each volunteer to compete each week in said competition. And the first group of people to compete is uh, Catherine, Bella, Nick, Cliff and Ovi. Hopefully I got the names right because I was like, did I get it right? No, I think it was just Catherine, Bella, Cliff, and Ovi. I will say that. I was Nicole in there. Yeah, I was right. 
<laughs> ignore me ignore my notes it was Catherine, bella nicole cliff and ovi they all competed in the first activity competition and the competition was gross because they had to smell a lot of nasty stuff and even though it wasn't the exact stuff it was like different like mixtures and goops and scents made to smell kind of sort of like what it was supposed to be either way that vomit looked disgusting but the little animals were so cute the little domesticated raccoon skunk and porcupine they weren't paying the house guests any mind they were just eating their little treats and calling it it was so cute so cute big brother so anyway ovi won the activity competition and he decides, you know what, he's going to keep his cool and keep his cards close to his chest and not tell anybody. So he learned. This is how you know he's a super fan. Because he's not running his mouth and telling everybody that he won this power. He learned from the mistakes of others. Very good idea. And the power is basically a nightmare power where they can make, well, Ovi can make the HOH's life as an HOH, or tenure as an HOH, whatever you call it, a nightmare. How will they do it? By waking up the HOH in the middle of the night and then using the power, if say they're on the block, to make it so that the HOH will have to make two new choices for nominees. And the old nominees will be safe. And this power is good for six weeks. This is a serious first power. And again, Ovi's keeping it a secret and he's going to play dumb like he didn't win. And so far, the house guests pretty much took it hook, line, and sinker. So then Ovi decides, and by house guests, I mean like Cliff, Bella, um, Catherine, probably Nicole also. Nobody really looks at Ovi as a threat, threat per se. There's a lot of problematic things happening in the house. We'll talk about it on TV Co, but I won't like waste time like harping on it, but I'll talk about it. Just ask me when you get on the TV Co app. So anyway, Ovi decides he wants to create an alliance and he enters the room with Jack and Jackson and Christy and then Annalise comes in and he admits that he heard someone say something about eight people being in an alliance and he really feels like he created the first major alliance and I'm just like no sweetie you didn't these people are playing you and after watching the feeds this weekend I really don't like how they treat him it's just disgusting so anyway Kemi decides to chat with Christy because she said that um, Ovi as a player is concerning her because for some reason Kimmy is picking up on a whole lot of stuff and she does all weekend. But that's not the reason why Kimmy gets into the mess she gets and she becomes number one on everybody's radar. It's a whole different story that I will talk about later on. So Jack is worried because he sees Kimmy as throwing people under the bus. And he has this thing where nobody outside of his collective of eight can talk about gameplay or something. I'm like, what game are you on, dude? Everybody's talking about gameplay. They're pooping and peeing and talking about gameplay. They're picking their noses and talking about gameplay. I don't understand why some of these house guests are so like clicky and territorial about this. I don't ever remember house guests being this bad. So season 21 already is taking the cake in that sense. So Jack sees Kimmy as a threat. And all I can think of are the events that happened this weekend with Kimmy and how really it's like Jack and Jackson who want her gone. And they try their best to push Christy to do so. Then we get to the nomination ceremony. Pretty much, Christy turns on the waterworks and she tries to level with Cliff and Catherine. She says, you know, this is not personal. This decision is tough. She wants to be fair and unbiased. Whatever is meant to be will be. 
and I'm probably going to quote my mom in saying this because my mom was just like, you know, it's so funny when these people say it's not personal or they say it's not a big deal when it comes to the Big Brother house. And it's just like you are not the person who is nominated. You're not the person worrying about whether you're going to stay in the game or if you need to win the veto. Like, fall back a bit because just like whenever somebody's up here in the game, they always end up dropping down here, meaning the power shifts all the time, as Big Brother says, expect the unexpected. Well, Cliff does not feel safe, but we knew that from his diary room sessions, and he's going to try to win the power and veto. Ovi is happy that he's not on the block, and if he ends up on the block, he's just going to use his power. Christy says she's going to play this game by ear. Or actually, she means she's going to play it and allow Jackson and Jack at that point to be in her ear and kind of convince her to nominate certain people. Catherine says, these house guests don't know me. I'm a savage. They don't know what I'm capable of. And we really don't know what Catherine is capable of at all. I don't know what to say. I don't know who's going home. And after the events that happened this weekend on the feeds, it was just like up and down and up and down. He didn't know this person was in trouble. This person's not in trouble. This person is a target. This person's not a target. Welcome to... I was about to say celebrity. Welcome to Big Brother 21. Home of the craziness and the big eight alliance that is afraid of one another. And at this current point, I believe they're turning on Jack. It's about time. I said Jack was hunky. He is hunky. But he really used to keep his mouth shut. Yeah. But we'll talk more about that on the TV Co. app. I'm going to leave the link in the uh, description box below. Leave me some comments and let me know what you thought of tonight's episode. The schedule for the show is as follows. On Tuesday, July 2nd, Big Brother will air at 8. Wednesday, July 3rd, it will air at 8. Sunday, July 7th, it will air at 8. Wednesday, July 10th, it will air at 9. Thursday, July 11th, it will air at 9. And Saturday, July 14th, it will air at 8. So you all take care. And to my TV co-subscribers, I will see you guys tomorrow at 7. I love you all. Take care. It's now 918. I'll watch Big Little Lies later, but I'm so looking forward to Euphoria. So... Love you guys. Take care. Bye, guys. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>